Today we will try to understand about laws of motion. Long ago it was Aristotle first who said an external force is required to set a body in motion. But he could not imagine as to why a body stops. He described this as natural force. Then came Galileo who said if a body is at rest, will be at rest. And if in motion, will be in motion, until an external force is required to either move it or stop it. He described inertia as property of matters, defined as an ability to change its own position of rest or motion, called inertia of rest and inertia of motion. Two kind of forces we know, contact force and non-contact force. For example, normal force, tension, spring force, frictional force, are contact forces, and gravitational force electromagnetic force and magnetic forces are non-contact forces for example a body rolls down the ground in contact is due to gravitational force dot but when drop down to ground is due to a field force a contact force is the resultant of normal force r and frictional force f its magnitude is square root r squared plus f squared dot and direction is given by tan theta equals f r a force that opposes motion of a body is called friction we have three kind of friction one static friction mu s2 kinetic or dynamic friction mu k3 rolling friction our amount of work done in opposing motion of a body can finally be decided by work done hence mu s greater than mu k greater than mu r let a body of mass m is at rest on a smooth horizontal surface two forces acting at the point of contact weight of body mg acting vertically downwards reaction r acted upon body in vertically upward direction let a horizontal pull f is applied on body let acceleration that tend to oppose motion is a hence F equals MA. Now if instead of a horizontal force, oblique force F is applied on body, we resolve F into two components, horizontal component F cos theta, and vertical component F sin theta. Let acceleration that tend to oppose motion is A. Hence, F cos theta equals MA and R plus F S sin theta equals MG. When we apply a minimum horizontal force F on a rough surface dot SO that body does is move. Frictional force mu R comes into play that tend to oppose it. Hence F equals mu R. When we apply a minimum force F on a rough surface at an angle theta dot IT can be resolved into two components. Horizontal component F cos theta and vertical component F sin theta. A frictional force mu r is produced acting against f cos theta. In equilibrium, f cos theta equals mu r. r plus f sin theta equals mg. Let us consider a body is placed on a rough inclined plane. Dot two forces acting are mg vertically downwards to the horizontal, reaction r vertically upward to the inclined plane. Resolving mg into two components, mg cos theta that opposes r and mg sin theta, downwards, along the plane, body will slide down because of component mg sin theta along the plane, at the same time a frictional force mu r is produced in opposite direction between the surface in contact dot let acceleration produced as a, therefore ma opposes motion along plane upward. In equilibrium, R equals mg cos theta, mg sin theta equals mu R plus ma. Therefore, ma equals mg sin theta minus mu mg cos theta. Hence, A equals g sin theta minus mu cos theta. Let us consider a frictionless pulley hanging on a roof. Where masses M1 and M2 are put on the two ends of a string such that M1 greater than M2. 
weight M1g pulled down due to gravitational force of Earth, resulting a tension T in the string against M1g. On the other side of string weight M2g pulled up due to an equal and opposite tension T produced in the string. Let an acceleration produced is A. Hence, M1g minus T equals M1a, and T minus M2g equals M2a. Adding both equations, we get G M1 minus M2 equals M1 plus M2a. Hence, a equals M1 minus M2, G M1 plus M2. Now, putting in T minus M2g equals M2a. We get T minus M2g equals M2, M1 minus M2, G M1 plus M2. Solving, we will get T equals 2 meters 1 meter 2g, M1 plus M2. Let a spring of spring constant K is stretched by X when a force F is applied to it. Equally a restoring force F is also produced by Newton's third law, that tend to bring body to its original position. We see that, F directly proportional to minus X hence, F equals minus KX, where K is a spring constant, therefore work done, W equals integration of minus F, DX, W equals integration of minus KX DX, W equals minus K integration of X DX, W equals minus one half KX squared.